When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to Botanical Gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound. Opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact it all started that day when Mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died while we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it, going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me, the way she whispered that I have nothing to fear. I'd sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. Alright, welcome everybody to the Metro. Metro Last Light, um, again, working on my backlog, it's huge, and uh, don't have much time to play this as Wolfenstein, the new order, comes out on the 20th, yes, the 20th, so probably gonna get about four hours of gameplay in today, uh, I'll do a continuous recording and then break it up and start uploading it uh, for my wonderful and awesome viewers to view and hopefully like and comment that you uh, are enjoying my Metro Last Light walkthrough playthrough whatever you guys want to call it so let's get started If anybody's played Metro 2033, but uh, it was an awesome game. For me, it was more of one of those sleepers. Um, you know, not not too many people, not too many people. I don't think played it. The ones that did uh, really did enjoy it. Sorry, I had to make sure that I'm still recording because I've got to move my computer down. As most of my viewers know, I, I play in a little corner of my closet over here as my uh, seven-month-old daughter has taken my man cave from me. So again, the acoustics are awful. I'm sorry about that, but I have been trying to adjust all the volumes and everything to get everything uh, sounding okay for you guys. So as you know, I started my YouTube channel um, with no commentary, but all the comments I'm getting are that people like commentary. But, um... Oh. 
That's going to take a lot for me to put back. It's just something that, I don't know, I, I don't think I'll ever get used to. So, anyways, without further ado, uh, we're going to go new game here. Ranger mode. I got that. Thank God the uh, code was still available. I thought it was going to run out. Recommended for Metro newcomers. So we got original mode and ranger mode. We're not going to play ranger mode right now because as... I haven't played through the game. Maybe my second playthrough I'll go to ranger mode, but I probably won't record that as it'll just be a speed run to get the achievements. So we're gonna go to original mode and of course normal. Um, again, don't want to be sitting here having you guys watch me die all the time, which you're gonna do anyways. So I think our brightness is okay. We'll go up one more notch. And here we go. Metro Last Light. The Dark Ones came much later. From the garden's direction. The Dark Ones. Huge. Towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures. Creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil. That with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Just <laughs> That's all lies. <laughs> Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean, uh, up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? Shit! Something coming. Oh. Conquest, my homie Cisco. Oh man. I remember those guys. I blew them up. Artyom. Wake up, Artyom. It's me, Khan. Nightmares, eh? No wonder. After all you've been through. Listen. I have incredible news. A couple of days ago, I was near the ruins of the Dark One's hive, and I saw one of them, still alive. I immediately set out to find you, as you were the one they tried to contact, before you launched the missile strike against them. Oops. Khan! How the hell did you get here? Get out! Now! Yes, Ullman, one moment. If a Dark One has survived, it is vital that you try to speak with it, Artyom. I realize that, as one of the Order now, you report to Miller. But we must persuade him to allow this mission. Khan, I told you to get out! This is a classified base. You shouldn't even be here. I'll take you to Colonel Miller. Follow me, Artyom. Get ready, Artyom. I'll be waiting at the exit. Move it, you windbag! I knew a smoker once. During the last year of his life, he had to eat, drink, and breathe for a tiny hole in his throat. Got my notebook. My trusty bullet lighter. <laughs> <laughs> 